What's going on, guys? My name is Matt, and this is Steve. Say hi. Hi. This is Final Boss, where we go back and play Final Bosses and talk about them. So this is Metal Gear Solid 2 and Solidus Snake, and uh, I don't think this boss is bad. I don't think he's good either. He's just really meh, and it's like really like... That's like basically what I feel about most of the bosses in this game. They're very, just very average. And I feel like they can be great, but it's, they don't they don't live up to what I think they should be in a Metal Gear Solid game, basically. Well, my biggest problem with this is that the Metal Gear franchise seems to revolve around the use of like different guns. You know, mm -hmm. you know all these different options. That, I mean, obviously there's a lot of sneaking involved, but. Uh, when there is any kind of combat, especially against bosses, it relies heavily on guns. You know, mm -hmm. they they introduce the sword pretty late in the game. Yeah. Um, and like I think you said you don't really get a chance to use it too much nope. for anything. So this is like your first opportunity to use the sword, mm -hmm. and they're throwing you into the final boss with it. You yeah. Know? Like you don't really have too much experience with it if you relied on the guns that you had and were comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. That's the thing. Like, uh, like you said. Introduce it really late. Um, if you're playing all normal, you can basically not use. You don't need to use it at all. Um, I played the game on European Extreme. Uh, that's a pain in the ass. Um, and it's actually really useful uh, near the end of the game. But um, still, if you're gonna make the entire end boss based on the sword, it'd be nice to get it a little bit earlier. Right. Um, it would be really cool to actually play the the game like a stealth wow i don't remember you doing that what? You don't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just straight fell off what? yeah those camera angles man they, uh, <laughs> they're pretty rough when you're not used you, to them. you know you know i think what we did was um i got up to this point i was like here you go steve just play this you know how to play yeah. Saw, and you i think you maybe you played play, this before you press the wrong button there <laughs> Something I think I tried yeah. to like press X to climb up and that was like drop instead. <laughs> you have great. to like actually hold up. Yeah, uh, it was something like that. Yeah, but like in a stealth game, like it'd be cool to introduce a melee weapon uh, for you to use, and you can use it defensive, like to knock people out. I think you can uh, use the other side of it, like the hilt. Yeah, so you don't have like to kill hand. anyone with it. it. That would be a cool thing to uh, introduce, and you know. Yeah, I think. We, you may have mentioned this in another video so much time, uh, but we've definitely talked about it. Like it's, it's definitely better to incorporate something as a major game mechanic. You know. Yeah. The, I think you talked about the Half Life Two. Uh, gravity, gravity gun. Game. Yeah, gravity gun. Yeah. Where like they introduce. It. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still getting used to it. It's fine. Yeah. I got it at this point now. Oh, yeah. figured out how to jump. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's how um, you do that. Right. Yeah, like, it would have been good if they made it something important to use, at least during, yeah. like, uh, maybe, like, a couple sections where it yeah. becomes a priority to use that, learn how to use it well. Yeah. So that when you get to this point, it's like, oh, I remember using that during this. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure that I can refresh on it quickly. Yeah, because th there is a right way and a wrong way to use a sword, and there is some little nuances to it. Which would be, yeah, it would be, it'd be Running I thought Running around be cool. blocking the entire time is probably not yeah. the way you want to do this. You know what? I remember in European Stream, it's during the section where you, you're you with Solid Snake, you're in a room full of guys, like, coming down, rappelling down, and they're all around you shooting. All you do is run around, like, blocking, and, and you know, it's pretty funny just how it looks, but uh, it's extremely hard. Uh, yeah, um... But with the bosses in Metal Gear Solid games, I expect them to be, you know, really big. I, I expect the characters to be larger than life, kind of. Uh, in this game, I would say, other than Vamp, you don't really get that, like, Miss Fortune. Is that her name? No, that's, that's League a, of Legends. <laughs> Fortune. Uh, that, that, that's barely a League boss battle. Yeah, that's barely a boss battle, and... She's just not an interesting character. I think she's really stupid. It was, actually, it was just like a survival thing, right? Just yeah, like you just you just stand behind you're... boxes and you're like, all right. yeah. I remember on European Extreme it was really difficult, but it's supposed to be on normal, basically. <laughs> it's European Extreme. It's, it's just goofy, yeah. But Vamp, I obviously him not dying. It's interesting. It's like, what the hell is this going on now? Like, yeah. it, it was like he's, that. He's an interesting character and a really fun boss fight. It was, yeah. Um... Like phone calls in the middle of the fight. Always yeah. fun. It's Rose um, going like, I'm pregnant. All right, great. That's awesome. <laughs> great time to tell me that. <laughs> um, yeah, but the... I know what you're saying about the bosses, and especially Metal Gear Solid 3 had 
the end. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that fight is just beautiful. Yeah, that entire game, like, uh, Sorrow, I love that boss fight. It's mm. just, you get these unique boss fights that are really interesting. Uh, even the first one, Psycho Manus, was so oh. cool. Um, just how you, everything about it was cool. It was unique. Even Sniper Wolf was really cool. Um, Revolver Ocelot's fight was, for the time, like, how it made you count the bullets and use the camera angles. Um, it was just really they all have unique, some kind basically. Of like, and it's not too gimmicky. Honestly. Nothing feels... Yeah, nothing one, ever felt gimmicky to maybe, me. Maybe that's what kind of cheapens the feel of this fight. Is mm-hmm. that it's like kind of gimmicky. Like, hey, swords are cool. Let's give this guy a sword and have him fight. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. I think uh, maybe... I, I really like Mega Solid 2. Um, it, it was the first Mega Solid game I played. Um, but it's very, like, uh, the characters, like, Solidus, uh, Raiden, they kind of just feel like they're in the back, basically. They, you know, you have Solid Snake there, and he's he's kind of the center of the show. Like, he draws your attention. You have Revolver Ocelot, draws more attention with his liquid arm, <laughs> more, yeah. than, more than Solidus. Solidus, you don't, I, he never felt, we said it before with Alduin, he just doesn't feel special in the game. Um... He's just kind of there to provide yeah. end-of-game closure. And it's funny because his background, you know, he's supposed to... He's the perfect clone, basically, compared to the recessive Solid Snake and the dominant uh, Liquid Snake. It, he just doesn't come off as the perfect clone, you know? It just... And I, I think he's, when he's done after that. Bitch. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> I can defend Raiden a bit, but he's, it's his voice acting is ugh, God <laughs> Almighty, and and just the endless conversation with roses or R- roses rose is just terrible. Um, but yeah, was was he in Mega Solid Four? I think he was cl- he was uh, the the body being cloned for Big maybe. Ball. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, he he's not like Liquid Snake who. <laughs> takes over a Walter Ocelot's yeah. body at the end of the game. Like, <laughs> when you think about it, the plot line in this series is like kind of yeah. ridiculous. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Like when you it, when you like first play the game and you sit there and and like listen to the audio and everything, there's something about it that draws you in. Yeah. I don't know. I th- these games are so. I don't understand how I love them so much. Like they shouldn't be like games. I you. Sh- I mean, that's that's not necessarily true. That stealth in the first one was really revolutionary, and Mega Sad Four I thought was this, the gameplay was really great. Oh, Mega Sad Three is the best one. That ugh. I think I'm. I'm, I'm just gonna to I'm just gonna splurge on Mega Sad. Mega Sad <laughs> Three. Everyone says the best game on PS2 is Shadow of the Colossus. And I I can I can I love that game, but it's one A one B for me because Mega Sad Three. That's 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 a major one. That's a great game. Just all around great game. Yeah, I love that game. It's great, yeah. It's just, it's just great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just a just a basically meh fight here. It's like the most most of the boss battles in the games, very ugh. I'm not digging it. Yeah, won't you agree? I'll I'll agree with you. Yeah. Anyway, but like I said, I I think the biggest thing that they did wrong was just introducing it the the sword way yeah. too late. Definitely. In a game that relies heavily on guns, yeah. Instead, you know, your tranquilizer really. Oh, I love my tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah, because um, you know, in Metal Gear Three, the final fight is a CQC, which they introduce immediately, and yeah, it's, it's, a, one it's of an the integral part in that game. to the game exactly. And, and like they they use uh, the environment effectively, like it's really hard to find her, and you can use it to your advantage. It's, it encompasses everything you've the major points of the game that up to that point. Yeah. And obviously they introduce things in between the game to keep it fresh, but the integral parts there are, are you know, encapsulating that fight, so... Right. They don't get it here. They don't get it here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another Final Boss. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> if you enjoy this... Uh, see, I don't like saying... Like, comment, subscribe. But you should like, comment, subscribe, because I just said that. So you know I'm like I'm humble about it. Just just do it for me. And uh, suggest us bosses. Like, two people did it. That was cool. Yeah. It felt good. Um, and um, and tell us what you think about Metric Got Solid 2 as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good place to end it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
Thanks.